good morning i literally got up just to change out my pajamas and that is it um welcome to today's vlog i'm gonna do a summer day in my life we're gonna see if it's interesting if not i apologize in advance but i found this cute california shirt and i actually read a couple chapters of this book tomorrow tomorrow and tomorrow why did no one literally tell us about before it's literally about two characters who are building a video game and I love playing video games. My brother is actually a coder. He is currently making his own actual video game, which is insane. And I'm a voice actor in it. Anyway, this book is really good. The writing is kind of chaotic, but I love it. So it's in third person, but in the third person, it gives you perspective of like everyone. So it's like different than like third person, like Sarah J. Max books, where it's like third person of this character but it's her thoughts and her feelings this is like literally um you're just absorbing all of the characters emotions and i love it it's chaotic and i love it and like it jumps kind of jumps between like timelines like it mentioned like 30 years later blah 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 blah, blah. it mentions like 30 years in the future it mentions like past events but there is a present time that you're in and I love the chaoticness of that writing. It's just so freaking good. And I am scared. I'm so scared with this book because it's I'm afraid it's gonna be sad. I am. I'm about I think Goodreads said 30% through. I'm on page 140. And it's cool because it's like different parts. Like five parts or whatever. Here, I'll show you like contents and that's like the part to split up in which is pretty cool i'm really enjoying this i'm afraid that's gonna make me sad yeah today's gonna be a little summer in my life so i actually don't really do a lot um but we're gonna do one before i leave for college which it is already august 4th and i move in august 19th into my apartment i'm super excited and kind of nervous to go back to school and all that and to have pay for my first actual apartment that's going to be insane. The first line in chapter four of, um, I think it's influences. It's like part two. Anyway, it's just the first line. It's so, it's so, um, what's the word? Like nonchalant. It's just, it's just like Sadie came with this idea, blah, blah, blah. Something happened, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to give it away. But it's just like, wait hold on hold on um hold on I didn't brush my hair, but it's fine. I have like this lightness in my hair, and I don't know why. What's that supposed to be about, baby? We're going shopping now. It is one o'clock, and we're finally going. I'm excited. With my outfit, my California t shirt. When I was in high school, I was like set on the fact that I was going to move to California. I was like, guys, I'm going to California. None of y'all can stop me. <laughs> I still kind of want to go to California. Probably will never live there. Um, I've never even been to California, so my opinions might change. But my my boyfriend currently hates California. So before that, it's pretty nice. But right now. I kind of see myself living like in Minnesota, like a nice little hockey town. That is the dream. Living in a hockey community is the dream. But let's go shopping. It's hot. It's so beautiful out today. Yeah, we're just going shopping, just looking at things. Um, I'm moving soon to my apartment. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Anything fun to put my apartment? That's the vibes. We're taking my car because her car wants to explode. So the dealer's looking at it. Probably going to get a new engine and all that good jazz. And we're going to go to Target, Best Buy, Bath and Body Works, whatever's in the little area. And it's going to be a fun, fun day.
mom's currently looking at me for a flashlight. I'm looking at the frames. I think 8 by 10 is going to work. I have this paper to kind of like measure it. And then I have photo paper. Because I'm kind of struggling to pitch some more digital files I have. We have a printer at home, but we don't have like a good paper. So hopefully that works. And this is the two frames. Frames over here, but I think black will just go better, you know. You know, I think we're gonna grab with these. Actually, black will go better with the prints colors. That makes sense. So, I think that's what I'm doing. Right. And yeah, we have to hurry because my dad needs a car because they need to borrow my car because my parents' car was flashing red it would say like pull over immediately um i can't remember but the thing would get too hot so i the dealership said they need a new engine so it's been a week and we're still waiting on their car ah people look how pretty these flowers are next week i'm gonna do all my shopping for my apartment i'm so excited but so nervous that school's already coming look how pretty so pretty. Let me go follow him off. I'm getting or that I bought for my new apartment. I'm so excited to put it in frames and hang it on the walls. I'm out of breath. Okay, so. So, at uh, first, these three I bought as digital files. I had to learn how to print them. I think I said that earlier. But if you know, you know. So, first. We, they are like a matching set. So you have to read, you have this one to whatever end, then a glass. Um, light it up. I'm not gonna say the city names because they're kind of hard to pronounce. <laughs> from Crescent City and then Valoris, the city of Starlight from the one and only Akatar. So we're gonna, I'm gonna hang them side by side. And they're gonna be so cute. So this is the first set of prints I have that I literally just print on my printer at home. I bought some paper from Walmart that I use and they came out super good. Like I'm super proud of that. And then we have these that, and then we have these that arrived in the mail a couple days ago I showed you, Throne of Glass and Harry Potter. And I'm just obsessed with them. These are my favorite prints. And then I'm gonna see if they fit in these frames while I watch a new show on Netflix. It almost gives a vibe of Gilmore Girls, which is like a little, a little bit under, like a low budget Gilmore Girls. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. It's called The Magnolias, is that right? Honestly, I only care about their children. I don't really care about the three adults, which is the the Sweet Magnolias. It's literally about these three best friends who are grown ups now and they have children, they have all the relationship, like struggles that they're dealing with. But the children are the best part of the show. I love Annie and Ty. So freaking cute. Season three? No. Oh, no, I'm sad. Anyway, so I'm gonna watch this and put these bad boys in the frame, see if they fit. Starbucks.
Oklahoma, especially with Austin, but we don't get the chemistry, so I just never want to say. I'm excited. Not many juniors get to take this class. Right. Yeah. yeah. I tried to get her to bed. I worked hard, but I tried. I wanted to make sure the approach comes okay. Is he okay? He will be. I'm ready. She's fine. Annie, how about we talk about the morning? It's such a long day. Okay. Hey, Mom. Hi, Bill. Hey, love you. It's your dreams, baby. Sure, she's coming up. Helen, got a release? I wish I'd have been there. Oh, hell, you didn't tell me. Ah, I was. I think. Really? She came back. It's too hard. It's too hard. It's too hard. It's too hard. God the princess, banish dragons, and defend the castle. And empty the church. And empty the wash of dishes. The need to go to Coach Cal got fired. What are Gabe and the guys going to do about him? Won't Coach Harlan take over? He always liked him. Yeah, he's great. He didn't play pro. The fight actually sounds like making a big deal. It stinks. I mean, mom was happy and our coach was coming around on the court and stuff. Listening to us. Appreciate it, Peter. Well, they said mom and coach are breaking up. Yeah, they might. Cal's not bad. I wonder what it's like to live with calm people. You, you want less drama? It's, I've won fewer surprises. I actually want no surprises. The doctor actually says I need to recognize that the result of Am I supposed to be doing that? I have no idea. I really need to talk to Coach. Mom said no. And the last thing she needs right now is you going away. I suppose. Since we're on the subject of moms who say no, are we? I asked Nelly out. And she said yes. And things were great for like 15 whole minutes. And then. Boom. Boom? Mom says we can't see each other because we're stupid. And all the usual are moms. Sorry, you deserve some happiness, just like mom does. Yes. So, do you got any advice? No, sir. Mrs. Lewis has always kind of scared me. Do you remember that 4th of July parade? She jumped up on the scout boat while it was moving to the home of Jackson's hair. She landed right on my foot, and I thought her heel was going to go all the way through. Nail me to that show of You know that show she put on the course? The whole reason I got paid for service. You know, I kept waiting for her spotlight to appear. I'll bet she'll move on to terrorizing somebody else and forget all about it. And you know, you can take a break off. What am I supposed to do? 
Firstly, thank you again for the beautiful day you and the world's created to honor King Francis. That's our honor. In her name, I present you with this box. Should I be worried what's in it? Her note to me said it's memorabilia from Mrs. Fowles, her house. She thought you might enjoy displaying some of it. Fun! What kind of memorabilia? I actually didn't go through it. There were a lot of boxes with uh, a lot of instructions, some more complicated than others. And I presented them. So you're staying in bed? I was thinking about it. Well, I'm sure that'll make a lot of people very happy. Well, I always appreciate the chance to make people happy. Neville, Grace, Collins, and Mom, they're all going to want to hold on to you because I'm trying to hold on Well, thank you so much for bringing this by. I will let you know if it's a pleasure and Have a good day. I understand how it's said last night. 
I love you both. I want to help. Since neither of you are making that particularly easy, let me just suggest you start by releasing all of that tension. I feel it radiating my bicep for my arm down too. I wonder why this is so, so hard. You're going to have a big crop. That's what it looks like. Isn't that? That looks cool. Church and utterly available 24 7. It's just so hard to be at my best to serve. Plenty of quiet time. Oh, gosh. Right now, my and bam! This, I love it. Oh, I love it so, so much. So, this is what these two look like. Ah! Guys, I'm back home. I'm so happy. I got. The goods. Okay, so I've been, I know this is kind of like, it seems spur in the moment. Like, oh my god, this girl's crazy. She's doing her own bought something. No, I've been actually thinking about getting this for so, so, so long. And if you didn't know, it's tax free weekend this weekend. Well, not why I'm posting this, but it was today. Anyway, I've been wanting to get a new iPad. I heard I have one, but it's my parents. I had like a little Samsung, got my grandma. She has to use it, so she gives to her free. And I was using it for like reading books. I download it like Word or whatever. I take notes during class, a blah, blah. Literally everyone takes notes on their iPads during class. And I was like, I want one. Anyway, so my parents, like halfway through the year last year, we decided to switch um, my Samsung with their iPad. This is the iPad. It's it's an old iPad. It's an iPad Air. It's not compatible. Oh, it's gonna die. It's not compatible with like Apple Pencil and all stuff. Like it's um old edition iPad. But anyway, I've been wanting to save up to buy my own iPad so I can give this one back to my dad because he loves playing his little games on here. And the one I like the Samsung I have is kind of old, so it's not that good for playing games. Blah blah blah. Anyway, the point is, I want to get my own iPad, and I've been loving the iPad Mini Purple, and it's per like it's a small little thing. It's perfect for reading books. It's perfect for like taking cute little notes on it still. Well, it's not giant because I have a MacBook Pro for all my classes. I'm a journalist major, so I need kind of like high tech editing software. So that's why Macs are perfect for me versus like Windows and Dell and all that stuff. Anyway, so we were, I've been looking for this iPad for so, so long. Like just came looking up, watching videos, reviewing this, blah, blah, blah. And since it's after weekend, my mom and I decided that I would get one. Anyway. This is what it looks like. It is a mini purple iPad. I want to use one. It's also the cheapest 
version of the iPad, if that's even a thing, because it's still kind of pricey, kind of expensive, but it's my like little expensive really present. I can really save me up money for my apartment and do this iPad. <laughs> I'm just so excited. And then I also got a Apple Pencil. Now, I will never ask for anything again in my life. Yeah, so I'm very excited to use that for school. I think it'll be fun. I feel weird like saying that I got one because it's just so crazy. I've been wanting this iPad for so long. I can't wait to like read books on it and take notes on it for school. And I didn't want to get the bigger versions of the iPad because I already have a laptop that does all those things. So this is like perfect. It's tiny, it's small for my reading. I don't have a Kindle. So be pr I just love it so much also. So I'm very excited with my purchase and my using some of the money I saved up. Yeah, and so I think it'll be fine. Um, the case should be here soon. I'm not gonna open it until I get the case because I do not want to break it. Also, it was the last one in stock. And it being tax free weekend and last one in stock, both of these, like this is the last pencil they have, maybe the last iPad. It just felt right. I had to get it and I'm so excited that I got it. I cannot wait to start using it for school. For reading is gonna be so so much fun. Alright, my brother now wants to go play some tennis. We have a tennis alumni tournament tomorrow. It's exactly like it sounds like. Everyone who graduated from this high school can participate in the tournament. And typically, it's a lot of Christmas friends. So they're all way, way better than me. They're all like six foot three. So I've been begging my brother to practice with me so I don't completely embarrass myself. So we're gonna go there and practice tomorrow. It starts at 8 a.m. It's gonna be single, gonna be doubles. Probably won't get any videos, but you'll see me practicing today for it. It's gonna be fun. Um, do you like the how I'm, um, what's it called? Correlating? Is that the right word? Correlating. I'm correlating my outfits today. I don't think that's the right word. Anyway, orange? Orange. My little Mizzou tank I got from Target. Thank you. Okay, that's it. I just wanna show you my exciting purchases. And um, we didn't find anything really at Target. For the most part i've been kind of buying things over this summer to help with the, my apartment so that way i'm not just buying a thousand dollars worth of items in one go you know makes me feel better even though the outcome is the exact same anyway i'm gonna go play tennis Thank you. 
Your sir. Yeah. Fuck. That didn't hit the net. 
pretty loud. Ah, oh, come on, Jimmy. This man is making me play to pro eight. I may indeed pass out. It's not going well. It's so hot out here. Look, there he is. He's doing top spins. The whole entire time, I've been doing top backward spin, top spin. Hello everyone, I am back. I just took a shower and my brother was nice enough to buy me a Jack in the Box. I got a strawberry shake and just like four count chicken nuggets. And I forgot how good their chicken nuggets are. I obviously just took a shower and my hair is kinda crazy. It was so freaking hot outside. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. It's been a while since I've like been outside and like done like activities like that. But I love doing stuff like that. I love playing tennis, like get me outside. I just love being outside. Last thing you touched on, it was not the way you guys have 